With more on all of this and the latest in Trump's legal saga in New York, Texas Senator Cruz, Alabama Senator Britt, welcome back, both of you. Senator Cruz, I guess we'll ask, you know, considering you are Professor Dershowitz's uh, greatest student of all time, your reaction to what's going on in New York? Oh, look, the trial is an absolute travesty. I, I would say it is a circus show, but, but, that, but that's showing disrespect to circuses. At this point, you have a wildly partisan left-wing Democrat prosecutor whose only objective is to get Donald Trump and to stop the voters from reelecting him in November. You have a wildly partisan left-wing judge whose only objective is to get Donald Trump and stop the voters from voting for him in November. And you have a complete mess of a trial where they haven't demonstrated any violation of the law whatsoever, except actually yesterday they finally, finally, finally proved a crime when Michael Cohen admitted on the stand yeah. that he stole tens of thousands of dollars from Donald Trump. So we have a crime. Their star witness is the criminal, and he pleaded guilty uh, to felony theft. That's the only crime that's been proven. A and it is the most blatant example. Uh -huh. This prosecution and the other three are the most blatant example of election interference we have ever seen in the history of the country. And they knew about the crime, and they never charged Michael Cohen with the crime. And yep. according to Bob Costello, they had exculpatory evidence. They didn't present that to the grand jury either. Amazing. Uh, Senator Britt, let's go to this IVF issue and how important it is to so many families and talk about the legislation. Yeah, well, first, um, obviously, watching the political prosecution of Donald Trump is a travesty. But speaking of him, he has been a huge champion of IVF. He stood firmly um, with IVF and with families' opportunities to bring life into this world. So this legislation, after what happened in Alabama and the court ruling, um, created a lot of confusion and uncertainty. And there on the ground, I could feel moms and dads who wanted to bring life into this world, people who had children because of the miracle of life that they had um, got, to, got, to, uh, got to use through IVF. Um, were concerned, and they were fearful that that was going to be taken away. So what this piece of legislation does is it says that we are going to protect IVF. And that way, none of these families have to worry about that in the future. And we believe that the Republican Party is the party of life. We're the party of families. We're the party of opportunity. And this will just ensure that we continue to be able to do that. Yeah. And President Trump supports you with Senator Cruz. Well, look, I think this is incredibly important legislation. I, I, IVF is, is truly a medical miracle. Uh, right now, today, in, in the United States, 2 percent of all births in America come from IVF. There have been over 8 million babies that have been born through the technology of IVF. You know, Katie and I both have many, many friends and, and family members who, who, who had children only because of, of the great blessings of IVF. As you know, Sean, I, I do a podcast every week, Verdict with Ted Cruz, my co-host. Uh, ben Ferguson, all three of his kids came through IVF. Katie and I yesterday did Megan Kelly's podcast. Megan's kids came through IVF. It, it, it is an incredible technology. And, and following the Alabama Supreme Court, many people were understandably concerned, concerned that, th that this medical science that they're relying on to become parents, to bring children into the world, to raise and to love, was in jeopardy. Now, there was a lot of partisan disinformation. The Democrats are trying to convince people IVF is in jeopardy. The corporate media is helping with this. And, and Katie and I decided, let's introduce legislation to make absolutely clear at the federal law that IVF will be protected, that you have a federal right to access that technology. I, I think this is legislation that on the merits should unify everyone. Of 100 senators, I don't know a single senator who opposes IVF, yeah. and so we ought to come together and make it clear in federal law that, that, that your right to make this decision is going to be protected. Well, I support both of you and the legislation, and like both of you, I have friends that have had children and are trying today yeah. to have children yes. uh, using it's this important. process. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.